Reports from a top automotive magazine CEO in China reveal that BYD's upgraded Blade battery, set for release on the company's own EVs, could soon make its way to Tesla models. This next-generation Blade battery 2.0 is expected to bring significant advancements over the current version, sparking intense interest among EV enthusiasts eager for cutting-edge performance. Imagine driving from Melbourne to Sydney on a single charge. If BYD's claims about the Blade 2.0 hold true, that vision could soon be within reach. So, what impact could the second-gen Blade battery have on Tesla's lineup, especially models like the upcoming Model Y Juniper? Will this battery tech deliver enhanced performance and extended range? Let's dive into the details in today's breakdown. 1. How will BYD's Blade battery 2.0 power Tesla's 2025 models and redefine EV performance? News from China confirms that BYD's battery subsidiary, FinDreams, is preparing to launch the second generation of its Blade battery, boasting a significant leap in energy density and an ambitious target of over 1,000 km per charge. The term Blade refers to the innovative arrangement of each battery cell within the pack, allowing 50% more cells to fit into the same space compared to traditional battery designs. The new Blade battery reportedly achieves a 25% increase in energy density over its first-generation predecessor. This gain means that fewer cells can now provide the same range, making it possible to build a more compact and lighter battery pack. Alternatively, this boost could also yield extended range in a similarly sized battery, fueling speculation that this next-generation Blade will achieve up to 1,000 km on a single charge. If accurate, this performance would put the Blade 2.0 on par with the eagerly anticipated solid-state batteries, a technology still years from full-scale production. In contrast, BYD's new battery is slated for production by the end of this year. Currently, BYD's original Blade battery powers every model in its lineup in Australia, along with various EVs from other manufacturers. Known for its unique design and lithium-ion phosphate chemistry, the Blade battery distinguishes itself by offering enhanced safety, energy density and extended lifespan compared to traditional lithium-ion alternatives. The first-gen Blade launched with an energy density of 140 watt-hours per kilogram, which later improved to 150 watt-hours per kilogram. Now, the Blade 2.0 promises a substantial jump to 190 watt-hours per kilogram. To illustrate, BYD's SEAL sedan in Australia boasts the highest WLTP range at 570 km from an 82.6 kWh battery, while the compact Atto 3 SUV and Dolphin hatchback deliver WLTP ranges of 420 km and 427 km, respectively. In comparison, Tesla's top-selling Model Y in Australia currently achieves a WLTP range of 629 km. Looking ahead, Australian buyers will soon have even more long-range EV options, including the 2025 Porsche Taycan, launching in July with an anticipated 678km range. One of the most significant upgrades in Blade Battery 2.0 is its exceptional fast-charging capability. While the first generation topped out at a 240 kilowatt charging rate, Blade Battery 2.0 is expected to handle up to 500 kilowatts, allowing the battery to charge from 10% to 80% in just about 12 minutes. A recharge time nearly comparable to a traditional fuel stop. This advancement places BYD alongside leading brands like Tesla and Xpeng in the realm of ultra-fast charging. The energy density of Blade Battery 2.0 also sees a notable improvement, reaching 190 watt-hours per kilogram compared to the previous 150 watt-hours per kilogram. This enhanced density not only extends vehicle range, but also allows BYD models to compete even more effectively with Tesla and other high-density battery-equipped EVs in terms of driving distance. Blade Battery 2.0 further excels in power discharge capacity, providing a robust driving experience with improved acceleration and performance even in high-power scenarios. With a discharge rate reaching up to 14 degrees Celsius, Vehicles equipped with the Blade Battery 2.0 will deliver a quicker, more powerful and stable driving experience compared to the previous version. 
This feature is particularly vital for high performance and sports models, enabling them to unleash their maximum potential without power limitations from the battery. BYD has chosen its ultra-luxury Yangwang U7 sedan as the first model to utilize the advanced Blade Battery 2.0. Positioned in BYD's premium segment, the Yangwang U7 is a high-end luxury sedan nearly 5.3 meters long, powered by four motors that deliver a combined output of 1,350 horsepower. With a starting price projected around $140,000, this vehicle targets elite customers demanding both high speed and extended range. According to an auto blogger, the Yangwang U7 will include the second generation blade battery with a charge multiplier of over 5.5C and a discharge multiplier exceeding 14C, which signifies that the battery theoretically supports full charging within approximately 11 minutes. This high discharge rate also enables stronger power output ensuring consistent performance even in high-demand scenarios. The Yangwang U7 showcases BYD's commitment to top-tier battery technology as it competes with KTL's Chilin 2.0 battery, powering the SU7 Ultra by Xiaomi and boasting a 16C discharge capability. With the Blade battery's initial launch in March 2020 based on lithium-ion phosphate chemistry and focused on safety, BYD has equipped its entire new energy vehicle lineup with this technology. However, while rivals like CATL have introduced batteries with up to 5 C charge multipliers, BYD has taken a few years to update its battery technology, but now steps forward with plans to produce 6 C batteries by late 2024. This step reflects BYD's strategic expansion into the luxury EV market with the Yangwang brand officially launched on January 5, 2023, aimed at the ultra-premium segment with the U8 SUV. The U7 sedan debuted as Yang Wang's first sedan model at the Beijing Auto Show on April 25, 2024, featuring a design with a length of 5,265mm and a 3,160mm wheelbase powered by four permanent magnet synchronous motors, each delivering 240 kilowatts. 2. How is Tesla's new Blade battery in the refresh of Model Y and affordable EV on the horizon? Tesla's refreshed Model Y, dubbed Juniper, has stirred up online forums with news that the Shanghai plant has reportedly started limited production. While no official launch dates have been set, this development suggests early 2025 deliveries in China, though when factories in Berlin and Austin will join production remains unclear. Like previous refreshes of the Model S, X and 3, the Juniper Model Y is expected to introduce subtle aesthetic updates rather than major changes. This evolution seems to align with Tesla's recent shift, away from the ambitious plans for a next-generation EV platform, opting instead to produce more accessible, affordable vehicles on existing manufacturing lines. In Q3 earnings reports, Tesla projected that production of an affordable EV would start in the first half of 2025, hinting at deliveries by late 2025 or beyond. During the Q3 earnings call, Elon Musk suggested that this EV could sell for under $30,000 with incentives, possibly positioning the pre-subsidy price at just below $37,500. Such a price could make it more attractive to US buyers with the 7,500 IRA credit but it raises questions about the car's competitiveness in international markets where such incentives don't apply. While Tesla has yet to release any visuals, speculation abounds that this affordable EV might be a pared-down Model 3 or Y, potentially even a hatchback, though its success across various global markets, especially in competitive EV landscapes like China, remains to be seen. If BYD's second-generation Blade battery were applied to the 2025 Tesla Model Y, it could dramatically enhance the vehicle's range, charging speed and performance compared to the current Model Y. The new Blade battery 2.0 offers an energy density of 190 watt-hours per kilogram, up from the previous 150 watt-hours per kilogram. This density boost alone could allow the Model Y to cover nearly 1,000 kilometers, about 620 miles, on a single charge. A significant increase over the 2024 Model Y's WLTP range of 629 kilometers 
391 miles for the long-range version. This means fewer cells are needed to reach a high range, potentially making the battery pack lighter and more space-efficient. Furthermore, the Blade battery, 2.0's 500kW fast charging capability, would allow the Model Y to charge from 10% to 80% in approximately 12 minutes, rivaling traditional refueling times and far outpacing the current Model Y's 250kW peak charging, which requires around 25 minutes for a similar charge. With a discharge rate of up to 14C, the Blade Battery 2.0 would also support high power output, which would improve the Model Y's acceleration and driving dynamics, making it more responsive under high loads, ideal for high performance applications. In sum, integrating BYD's Blade Battery 2.0 into Tesla's 2025 Model Y would position it ahead of current models and competitors, offering unparalleled range, ultra-fast charging and robust performance, bringing it closer to the capabilities of highly anticipated solid-state batteries. Tesla's approach to battery production differs markedly from BYD's. Traditionally, Tesla has not manufactured its own cells on a large scale. Instead, Panasonic, its longtime joint venture partner supplies the lithium ion cells that Tesla assembles into battery packs. Tesla also sources lithium ion batteries from South Korea's LG and purchases substantial quantities of lithium iron phosphate cells from China's Key ATL, along with some LFP batteries from BYD. While Tesla is developing its own 4680 cells, first announced at Battery Day in 2020, these cells present manufacturing challenges. The 4680 is a larger format lithium-ion cell intended to lower costs and improve efficiency, but its current density is still only comparable to Tesla's existing 2170 cells. Meanwhile, BYD has become one of the largest global EV battery producers, widely recognized for its Blade battery, a specialized LFP cell known for its safety and stability. BYD supplies batteries not only for its own vehicles, but also for major third-party EV manufacturers, including Xiaomi, Xpeng's sub-brand Mona, NIO's Orvo brand, and even Toyota. BYD's anticipated next-generation Blade battery, expected by year-end, could further boost sales growth into next year. BYD also plans to launch solid-state batteries in premium models by 2027, with wider rollout in more affordable vehicles by 2030 to 2032. Additionally, BYD is a major supplier of stationary energy storage batteries, with reports suggesting it may be a key supplier for Tesla's upcoming Megapack facility in Shanghai. In conclusion, the Blade Battery 2.0 represents a significant leap forward in battery technology, offering impressive gains in energy density, charging speed and power discharge. If integrated into Tesla's upcoming models, such as the refreshed Model Y Juniper, it could dramatically enhance performance and range, making Tesla's EVs even more competitive in the global market. What do you think of the potential impact of the Blade Battery 2.0 on Tesla's future models? Will this new battery technology change the EV game for good? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you never miss our latest updates on electric vehicles and technology.